Right, this is a quick way to change your Toyota Oris battery. Um, first of all, you gotta think about is how do you open it? So it's quite a simple process. It's, you can probably do it within about a few minutes to how to change the battery, as long as you've got the right type of battery. Now they take CR2032 three volt. As you can see, I bought those from Amazon. So it's quite simple, just take the key out first. Job done. Um, the next thing to do is to open it up. Now, quite simply, luckily this key has a little nice little finishing edge here, quite sharp enough. So all I'll be doing is literally just putting the key in that little gap there. You turn, you can see it opens up and hold it with your finger so it doesn't close back up again. Do the same thing, clicks open, and voila, that's opened up. Next thing to do is to and it also tells you on here actually, I don't know if you can see it clearly, what type of um, battery it takes. And you make sure you get the matching one. Um, and the next part is just take this out like that. And it comes out easy as this. Now this is the tricky bit. It's not easy to take the battery out. You'd think it would be just simply just clicking over and it comes off. But I don't know if you can see it, it sort of sticks in underneath the plastic covering there slightly so it's not just like an easy pull and it comes out now it took me a while to work this out i think you've got to press down on this side quite a lot and you really have to use something sharp enough to get it in the gap and not to scratch your finger or something cut your fingers so oh there you go you press it down hard enough on that side and this side comes off so literally press it down on that side and it pops out like that. So that's gone. Get the new battery out. Simply put this back on again. Now this I'm same again, because it has to go in the gap there. Because it has to go inside there, so all I'll be doing is pushing it in, at the same time pushing it down. Now it's in. Put the battery cover back on, make sure it goes the right way. Square edge here on this side. Close it down, nice and firm, so it's nice and watertight, probably that's what it's there for. And then the last bit is, put the case back the right way around. So you should just close it down as it was before. And put the keys back in. And you can go and test it, I've already tested my other one out. And it worked fine. So I had to have my two batteries changed on both of them. It's probably worth doing both of them at the same time. So you don't have a one sort of, you do always end up using one key a lot more than the other. So the battery of the one of them will run out quicker. So there you go, done. Easy peasy and it's all quite clear and straightforward, not like the good old, get the screwdriver out. So it's fine. Thank you for watching.